Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about phrasal verbs and fixed expressions with the word pop. <laughs> okay, I know that sounds a little bit strange, but I was looking back through my messages the other day and I found this conversation with my neighbour and it reminded me how often we use the word pop. So I want to teach you those expressions so that you can use them in daily conversation. Are you ready? Let's get started. Oh, I nearly forgot. I'm going to do a little vocabulary quiz at the end of this lesson. So stick around and have a try of that and then I'll check your answers for you. So I'm going to break my examples down into three different patterns because that will make it easier for you to remember exactly how to use these phrases. So our first pattern is pop to plus a place. And that just means go. Let me give you some really natural examples with that one. So maybe if I was at work, I might text my husband and say, I'm going to pop to the supermarket after work. Do we need bread? OK, so I've forgotten. Have we got any bread at home or not? So I send him this message. I'm going to pop to the supermarket. That's the place after work. Do we need bread? And that gonna is just the future I'm going to, but I've shortened it to gonna because it's in a conversational message. So essentially, I'm just saying I'm going to go to the supermarket after work, but it sounds so nice and so natural. And that's exactly how I would write it. Or you might want to use it in a question. For example, can you pop to the post office and post this parcel for me? OK, can you pop to the post office, that's the place. Can you go to the post office? Or you can add just with the present continuous and by adding just you're making it sound like it's happening immediately and it's just going to be a very quick action. So an example I would use all the time is I'm just popping to the loo. Do you know what loo is? It means toilet, <laughs> okay? So I say this all the time, I'm just popping to the loo. I'm just popping, because it's present continuous, to the loo. So that's saying, I'm going there now, and I'm just going to be quick. Okay, so that's our first pattern. Pop to plus a place means go. By the way, I think pop is a very um, British English thing to use. Um, I don't think Americans and other English speaking countries use it, but I could be wrong. So if you know differently, let me know in the comments. Okay, so our second pattern is pop plus an adverb of place and adverbs of place just means like downstairs, inside, outside, upstairs, here, there, those kind of things. Okay, so when we use an adverb of place, then we don't use to. Again, let me give you some very natural examples. I might be upstairs with my son and I say to him, oh, can you pop downstairs and grab my phone? And I do use that a lot because sometimes I'm a bit lazy and he's got young legs. So can you pop downstairs and grab my phone? So no to pop downstairs. OK, and grab my phone. Grab just means take it. OK, or another example. I'm just popping next door. I won't be long. OK, I'm just remember how I told you about just how it means I'm going there quickly and immediately. I'm just popping next door. I won't be long. And I won't be long is a great way to say I'll be back quickly. So you can use that too. I'm just popping next door. I won't be long. Or imagine that I'm out and about with my family and I miss my mum and I say, oh, I want to visit mum. Let's pop there on our way home. So we've got there, an adverb of place. Let's pop there on our way home. OK, and our third and final pattern is pop plus a noun plus on. Now, with the previous two patterns, it meant go. But when we use it with this pattern in this context, it means put. OK, so here come some examples to show you what I mean. Can you pop the light on? I'm squinting to see my book. OK, so squinting means that you can't see very well. You know, when it's a bit too dark, I'm squinting to see my book. So can you pop the light on? Pop, the light is the noun, on. Same as can you put the light on, but just a very nice natural way to say it. Can you pop the light on? Now, don't forget, I said I'm doing a vocabulary quiz at the end of this lesson. So remember that word squinting. Another example with this pattern that I use all the time. Let's pop the kettle on and have a cuppa. 
Okay, so the kettle, if you don't know, is what we use to make a cup of tea, what you boil the water in, okay? So let's pop the kettle on, let's put the kettle on and have a cuppa, and a cuppa is a cup of tea. Very British, of course, and I use this one every day. Or imagine that my husband has just come home from the supermarket with all of the shopping bags and I might say, just pop those bags on the table, I'll unpack them later. Okay, so pop those bags on the table. Um, same as put those bags on the table, I'll unpack them later. And our final example with this pattern is something that I say to my son all the time, especially at the moment because it's very cold. I might say, pop your jacket on darling, it's nippy outside. Okay, pop your jacket on, it's nippy outside. Okay, so nippy just means really cold. Okay, pop your jacket on another way to say put your jacket on. So there you go, lots of lovely phrases that you can use with pop in daily conversation that will make you sound really natural. Now, don't forget about the vocabulary quiz. Here it comes, it's up on your screen now. So pause this video and see if you can answer these questions and then leave your answers in the comments below this video and I will check them for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. It really does mean a lot. Um, don't forget to check out some of the other videos on my YouTube channel and make sure that you're subscribed, of course, and I will see you in the next lesson.